So in our previous webcast, first we saw same size gear without idler, and then we uh, analyzed different size gear with small size, with the medium size and other gear. In this webcast, we're gonna study same size gear with an idler in the middle. So now let's take a close look to our setup. So this is uh, the driver, it's small gear. This is also the same size gear. So either one could be driver or follower because they are same size and this is just an idle gear. Um, I, we assume this one is a driver and this one is a follower. We could assume this one is a follower or this one could be driver. Now if we look at the gear arrangement, we see the small gear and then the other small gear on the other side both has the same drum size. So they are the wires are uh, set or fit with the same size drum and the idle gear is, is with the same um, match with the small gear on both sides. So they are connected for here and here. We know for any gear train to work the teeth has to be same size otherwise they will not match. So all the teeth of the big gear and small gear are the same size but the diameter of the gears are different and if we assume this is our driver and this is our follower so the power will fall transmit from driver towards the follower this is the one thing to notice is that if I give a counterclockwise rotation the follower will also have a counterclockwise rotation but the gear idler will have a clockwise rotation so the driver gear has 60 teeth the idle, idler gear in the middle has 140 teeth and the other end follower gear is the same it has the same 60 teeth so this is the summary of our setup the driver has 60 teeth the idler has 140 teeth and the follower has same 60 teeth but the idler will have different direction so how can we prove or show or maybe determine if there is any effect of the idler on the velocity ratio. If we take the ratio from driver to the idler, they have 60 teeth and 140 teeth. So this is the ratio of a driver to the idler. Now if we consider the idler and the follower, the ratio would be 140 teeth of the idler and 60 teeth for the follower. So the overall uh, ratio would be teeth of the driver over teeth of the idler, teeth of the idler over teeth of the follower multiplication. So the teeth of idler of the teeth of idler will cancel out. So the overall ratio, ratio would be the same 60 over 60 which is 1. So for the same size gear with an idler we see that the idler has no effect on the overall ratio. One thing to notice which is different for this setup is that for the previous setups we had to put the wire set from the same direction, same side of the drum. But the idler gave us the opportunity to put the wires different side of the opposite side of the driver and follower. So now we will do our test. We have 50 gram including the uh, holder here on the follower so I balanced it putting uh, 50, 50 gram on the driver now I'm gonna add more weights on the driver so that we can um, raise the load on the follower so if I'm gonna add 10 gram into the system see it is still not moving so this driver has 10 gram more uh, mass and weight it's not moving so I'm gonna add another 10 gram now you see it's moving so the total was 50 gram load to pull upward I had to use um, total um, 70 gram uh, of weight so this is the summary of our result to find the mechanical advantage, we divided by the load that we pulled, which is 50 gram here, and the 70 gram load we used to pull the 
a load here from follower so the mechanical advantage is 50 over 70 which is 0.71 one thing to notice is that it is the mechanical advantage is less than one what it means is that we have to put more effort to raise a lower amount of load the velocity ratio was the same and if now the efficiency since the mechan is the ratio of mechanical advantage over velocity ratio since our mechanical advantage is 0.71 and velocity ratio is 1 multiplied by 100 will get 71 percent of efficiency so what we can recommend from this study uh, we saw that using an idler we were able to change the direction so now clockwise rotation of driver is giving clockwise rotation on the follower if we need that so we can use an idler in the middle the mechanical advantage is 0.71 meaning to raise a load i have to give more effort so it was not good for mechanical advantage and the velocity ratio was same and if we compare from the same size spark gear without the idler the efficiency was 86 percent now we have the efficiency 71 percent so we also lost some efficiency because of this more friction since we are using more bodies we have more friction so the efficiency also reduced 